What's good, man? Welcome back to another amazing podcast, man. The one and only 1422. Come on through with your boy Tizzy Todd, the motherfucking guy. Chizzy. Huh. Hey, look, that huh never gonna get old. Bro, bro. I think, I think you I need, need to retire that shit. Just, huh. I, you need to retire that shit. It's you 2020. Need, you need to retire that drip that you just repeated. You said you're never gonna repeat. Look, straight up, like, fuck what I said last podcast. <laughs> fuck that shit. Sometimes in life, bro, you just gotta double down on the ass. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got a question for you, bro. You know, what, before what? we start getting into uh, this podcast, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Got a real question for you. Okay, I got a real answer for you. I'm really looking at your hairline right now. Mm-hmm. And I don't know what's going on. Let me just, can you just explain to me who your barber is, what his number is, and say his name so anyone that ever comes to LA that watches us never goes to him. Okay. Um, <laughs> ha ha, very funny chart. Fuck you, first of all. <laughs> you wouldn't be shit without your curls, bitch. <laughs> You look like an ugly ass hurt. motherfucker without God your hair. Damn. Straight up, nigga. You trying to hold me and shit. Bro, so you saying you so cut you your said, hair, nigga, you ain't gonna have no hairline. What you talking about? Hey, Shark. look, zoom in on my hairline, bro. You see this? Please, please. Where the zoom camera in. That, Shark, right you got here. the worst hair for a normal look person. At this fade. Shark, look. You literally look have the worst fade. hair. You don't even look black with your hair short. Man. You look, don't. You just hate it. No, I ain't. Straight up. You tell me right now that. If I go outside and ask 10 girls... Cut your hair. Home, you ain't going to ask 10 people shit. So you, te- so you telling me I'm going to be ugly with no hair? Yes, and you know it. I'm going to look like you. I don't want to look uh, like bro, you. Bro, I'm far from ugly. That's why you got Check a girlfriend. Check my DMs. If you got a girlfriend, it means you ugly, bro. What? If you got a girlfriend, it means you You never heard that logic before? Look, okay, look. Jay-Z ugly. He got a wife. Jay-Z dating one of the baddest, most beautiful women I've ever... Never laid eyes on. Kanye Kanye got a wife. But she been hit by Ray J. First. He hit it first. But he ain't hitting it now. And I know Ray J's sick that he ain't hitting it now either, nigga. But he got them glasses out that, you know, cost a fortune. Fuck them glasses. Them glasses will never break. Kim Kardashian is a millionaire. A billionaire, she, A actually. billionaire. And Shoot. she look good. Travis Scott, don't mess up with Kylie. He already did, Kylie right? Kylie guy gonna come through. He already did, like right? Like this podcast. Huh? He already did mess up with it, though, right? They ain't I, dang, I, heard, right? I heard something happened. I don't know what happened, but you know what's crazy? What? Went to the Diddy party uh, for the Grammy weekend. Mm-hmm. I was with Dub and uh, DDG. Mm-hmm. Ran into Travis Scott. I heard about that. Yeah, it was cool as fuck. You should have asked for a picture. No. I would have. I don't think that's in that environment. You don't ask nobody for pictures, bro. Yo, Travis, you, bro. You in the house, you know what I'm saying, full of those kind of people, so you can't even... Nigga, I was, I, nigga I'm walking. I see Casanova two times. I'm like... Damn, I, I want to go I'm, over there right now talk to this nigga, but I'm like, I ain't even supposed to be in this house. Look. What the fuck? Look, you know what I'm saying? So met, let me act, let me fit in and act normal, bro. I met Casanova before. He cool ass dude. Chopped it up with him. Straight up. And y'all, hear this cap, y'all hear that cap? No, that's no cap in my rap. I really be in the we trap. Did. I know. Yeah, you're right. We, we met him at uh, the BT Awards. Shit. The BT Awards and uh, Popeye. <laughs> that I, is hilarious. I met that nigga at Popeyes, bro. For real, he literally bought the whole pop. Everybody in Popeyes, he bought them their own food. They he bought, they cashed out. That's crazy. Did yeah, he buy you your the food? whole line too. Did, did he buy? I think you told me this. Yeah, shit. yeah, nigga. He walked through, skipped everybody, bought everybody all shit. See, look, if that would you feel disrespected? Hell no. Nah. Did he buy your food? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Casanova Oh man listen Anyways speak, man Speaking of big time people Go uh-huh. ahead and introduce him Ty Look man We got the The uh, the number one goddamn YouTubers Up in this bitch You know what I'm saying Shout out to goddamn Love Lift Serve They was killing it I met these dudes A long time ago Maybe about Three and a half years ago Bro honestly uh, yeah. Welcome Love Lift Serve Let's get some Motherfucking claps You know what I'm saying Damn Damn Damn. Welcome for the award. Yeah. Appreciate it. So, so look, down. automatically off rip, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can go ahead and get set up, be we, comfortable. You know we came saying? through. Yeah, y'all came through, 1422, man. How does the, uh, how's y'all surroundings look in this podcast, bro? Y'all fucking with it? I like this. It you is like cool. It? I liked your guys' intro. That was cool. Uh, oh, yeah. appreciate it. You know, wow. I want a podcast now. Damn. It seems this seems fun. Like, it's just it's y'all real going fun, ahead. bro. Just talking shit with your boys. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Um, Listen, bro. Y'all actually might be the biggest uh, that we had on the show so far. Sweet. Should I introduce yeah. myself just in case those Yeah, don't man. Know go ahead and let them know Talk what's going shit. on, man. Talk your shit. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Noah Boat. Throw up your hood. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
My name is uh, Cameron Dallas. Nice to meet you guys. Dope. DMV dope, gang. Dope. Represent. That's actually from the East name. Coast. We want to. Nice. You want to tell them your real name, bro? Uh, real name too. Yeah. Uh, Not like your real, real government name, but you know what your alias. Um, sometimes people call me Rhino. That's uh, like my shit. little YouTube name. So. Every now and then, yeah. Damn. So y'all heard when we was talking about girls earlier and shit, right? I feel like I feel like you know no homo. Y'all some good looking men. <clears throat> Ty, was, that, was that gay? Nah. Yeah, a little bit, but you good. Like, you I give good, you a pass today. Yeah, no, homie, y'all some good-looking men. I see you just got a fresh cut for the podcast. You seen it. Yeah, I see you right um, now. I, I think to be able to compliment another guy like that shows how safe you are in your masculinity. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, I got so. strong. What do, you, what, what do they call f- I'm not, my masculinity not fragile. Exactly. There you go. You know yeah, what I'm I saying? feel the vibe. I respect that. You look oh, good, yeah. too. I appreciate you, bro. What about me? Your hairline look, so your hairline look good. <laughs> <laughs> your hairline <laughs> butt, <laughs> uh, Now, uh, Rhino, when I first met you, bro, mm-hmm. you did not have all that ink. Oof. I did not. No. Jeez, bro. Now Damn. you inked up. And I'm not going to lie. It's a vibe. Thank you. I uh, I just started getting them. Um, well, what I met you... Well, you said what? Two, probably two probably years ago? Almost mm-hmm. three, maybe. Almost three. Almost three. At, at SneakerCon. Yeah, right? in Atlanta. Oh, that was? SneakerCon? Yeah. That yeah. was it? Yeah. Um, and Still I, got the picture on Instagram, by the way. <laughs> I think I only Sheesh. had the one on my forearm. But ever since then, yeah, I just decided I just like that look. I like the ink look. Mm-hmm. And sometimes people will say, well, it, what happens if you change your mind or your skin's going to get old and wrinkly? What happens when you're 40? And I'm like, well, when I'm old... My skin's already gonna be wrinkly and unattractive, so what does it matter? Like, I, feel the vibe. I might as well. Have Are any this of those very, it. very special pieces? Do they mean anything to you, or just randomly just throwing shit on your body? I mean, I some of them have meaning, but mm-hmm. others just are like I just think they look just cool. art pieces. Now, look, do you have LLS tattooed on you? No. What See, about now, a YouTube now, what play the fuck, button, dude? <laughs> Only because I feel like that would be kind of corny. No, just fuck that shit. Just because it's like. All right, if my name's Rhino, everyone like get a Rhino tattoo. I'm like, eh, maybe, maybe not. It just <laughs> seems a little. Hey, little. Spe- like speaking speaking of art, stuff. right? I don't know if I could bring this up right now, but I always want to talk about this shit, and it really makes me mad. Here we go. Let's so get look, it. Look, these two lovely dudes, right? They just moved to LA. Yeah. How long ago? September last year. September. How how you liking your move? It's a good good transition for us. This is what we wanted because when we were in Philly, because we just graduated college last mm-hmm. year, there's no YouTubers out there, really. Mm-hmm. So the main thing was like to network, and only times we'd see people were at all those YouTube conventions and parties. So coming out here, I mean, it's good. We can find people 10, 20 minutes away. What do you... Vibe and film. Hold up, let me get to my... Let yeah, you get yeah, yeah I'm saying. Right. We'll let him. We'll let him. Yeah, bro, like bitch. you completely just cut me off going into a question that's going to cut deep. But before we cut <laughs> deep, my bad, man. you got to... You know, marinate the wound. Okay. The so wound, we gotta not get, wound. We got to get the pussy wet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to, you know, foreplay a little okay, bit. You know what I'm saying? Pussy wet. Before we, before we penetrate, bit. you got to foreplay. That's you know what I'm saying? So I'm about to secure in so your masculinity the, thing. Uh, I'm taking that back. Uh, <laughs> so listen, bro. Like we was talking about art earlier, right? Mm-hmm. Now, he just said it moved here September last year. You know, me and Ty. Went to go went to their apartment complex. Nice apartment complex. The exact address is <laughs> But you know, we went to their Pull apartment up. and uh it was dope. But um, you know, there's one specific piece in uh this guy, this gentleman over here. This dude cashes out too, but we're gonna get to him in a second. We gotta get uh Mr. Tapman over there. <laughs> um Cameron Dallas. Am I allowed to say this, bro? The little the little ancient art piece in your in your room. About the, he- the headboard. Yeah, you can say might as well. I might as well, right? So you know, he giving me a house tour and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, cool. You know, nice ass crib. Oh, yeah. You know, you got a mirror on your wall. I got that, too. You know what I'm saying? Cool. <laughs> now, we go to his room and shit. You know what I'm saying? We vibing. And then he shows me this little this little frame, on, like, right above his uh, bed. Headboard and shit. And I'm like, oh, yeah, this is real nice. He's like, how much you think it costs? You know. Now, I'm not, I'm not in Jay-Z crib. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this ain't Diddy house. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just like, shit. $700. This nigga spent $7,000 on a painting, bro. Young rich nigga shit. That's, Who uh, does that? I can confirm that. Um, Why? Yeah. Um, You know, it's kind of, in hindsight, is that a smart purchase? No. Fuck no. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Strip right. club, hell yeah. That's a, um, that's a whole car. I, it's Boy. a whole car. That's a whole, wow. you know, you can get a whole bunch of stuff for that. Uh, number one, this was right after we moved into our apartment. Mm-hmm. I needed to fill up the apartment with some with my my room with some stuff. 
uh because i had to make sure i had the coolest room this yeah. is how it is so it makes sense which one of y'all has the coolest room under you two um, I mean, we don't live together no more. But so. my place is for sure a vibe. Yeah. Fuck, okay. my room so he's is, a cooler one of the two. Yeah, for sure. His okay. room is for sure a lot cooler. Um, but yeah, I, I saw it. I was looking for just art pieces just for my room. I had another one that I bought in college that I put in my room. And once I got here, I saw it. I saw the piece. It was very big. And I just said, this is speaking to me. And it's I it would fit perfect on my wall. So I had no choice but do to you know, it. Do you know the definition? Like, of that art piece you have, like, what is the meaning behind it? Um, Cause it's just black and white. I could probably, I mean, I could maybe they'll pop up a picture or something of what it looks like. Uh -huh. But all I was told, it just looks cool. It looks like it's like a little boardroom scene of these little cartoon guys and a Monopoly man. Mm -hmm. It has to do with money, which mm -hmm. I think is, you know, kind of ironic, oxymoronic. But mm -hmm. is that the right word? I don't, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. I swear to God. I, know I'm on, I don't I'm know on a what you just said, bro. I'm on a podcast, so I got to start using words like that. Yeah, yeah, no, that's dope. That's dope um, that you used it. Yeah, superfluous. Yeah, for sure. Um, but, uh, plethora. But yeah, no, I'm not going to ramble about that, but it's, it's just basically, you see people spend money on a lot of other things, but that to me, I'm only on this little floating rock of earth for a little while, so, mm -hmm. well, a, a, a little while longer than I hope, but yeah. uh, I don't know. It's, it spoke to me. And I wanted to get it, so I feel you. Seven thousand dollars on an art piece ain't nothing. <laughs> um, now speaking, of also another nigga that be cashing the fuck out. Yo, what's up? You know, you got homie right here. Now he probably wouldn't buy a seven thousand dollar art piece, but you <clears throat> spent at least twenty thousand in clothing, bro. So now oh, yeah, I just want to know how much these pants is because they speaking to me, bro. No homo. Yeah, these pants. I said the price tag. I was like, God damn. Uh, oh, so they're custom. Yeah, they're one pe one of one, so you can't oh. find these anywhere else. Got these on uh, Melrose. There's a store called 424. One Shout out to one. them. Shout out to them. These were $700, one. and that was a oof for me, but uh, not 7000 You said how mm -hmm. much? How much were they? These were 700 <laughs> Hell yeah. no, bro. What's the, um, the most expensive thing you bought? The most expensive thing I've bought? <laughs> Literally probably just my desktop, which was a MacBook Pro. Five thousand, but that was a business expense because that's where I do all my Tax work. Right on. So yeah, uh, literally that. I don't think I've spent no jewelry or no crazy car, or nothing super. So, yeah. What is what is the most expensive shoe in your collection? Because I know you were shoe. Oh guy. yeah, okay, that one. I got these rookie galaxies back. No, 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 that was that was back in high school. Those were like a grand, but oh. <laughs> Shit, I got shoes about I don't yeah thousand. I don't think I spent <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, hey, hell yeah 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 hell yeah no no I haven't Hold spent up. like no you two my partner then bro you know I just have saying? a lot of shoes I like to get a whole bunch I just I've been collecting shoes since high school that was my yeah. only job really I uh, just started I learned about eBay and okay. I I uh, there was this kid in class he had the LeBron the Hornets he had the Hornet LeBron nine Hornets damn and, I remember that those and I had my I, I had my busted Vans on and I was just like not Vans they were like some Converse that. I've probably worn since like sixth grade all the way till ninth grade. Damn, I, you was one of those. Yeah, and I was sitting here like, I want to get those. How do I get those? It was like, you gotta go to the mall. You gotta go to the mall. I was like, okay, cool. I went to the mall, asked for them. They're like, we're sold out. I was like, what do you mean you're sold out? And he was like, oh my fat. Next day, bro, I was like, you said you go to the mall and get them. He's like, oh, you have to go there on Saturday at seven a.m. I said, for what? It was like, cause that's how that's how it works. You have to There's like a get a ticket, get a line, buy the shoe, and I then you know, I learned the whole sneaker game and all this all the meaning behind them. And yeah, I just started flipping shoes. So that, that was, was like, first. My <laughs> that was probably a long drive back after you got yeah. told, after you got told, now nah, they're sold out. You're probably in the car on the way back. Like, what did he mean sold yeah, out? What does that mean? I was bro? actually I was confused. I was I'm like, calling my dad and you're going to get sued. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay. Uh, my dad drove me all the way here. And I still, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey man, uh, look, let's not, Ty, let's not get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Let's not get it fucked up. Uh, what is it? Five point nine million subs? Or yeah, that's just about about to hit five point nine. Coming up on six. Damn, and we just I met y'all, bro. Million what was y'all like? Two hundred. Yeah, like I remember that K, shit. K. You had seven thousand on Instagram. You didn't. I didn't yeah. think you really made videos yet. Were you uh, about yeah, to? I was, or I was did in the process. Eat? I was. I was making videos. I'm not gonna say I wasn't. But I didn't really understand the game until yeah. maybe about like 30,000, 40,000 subs. Because we were you know walking around the mall. I remember Pooty and Chark. Mm -hmm. And then there was this guy. And I was like, did he do YouTube too Hell and stuff? Yeah. But I was like, I guess when you surround yourself. That, you were gonna, it was turning into yeah, yeah, obviously. You know like me and Ty. Mm -hmm. That yeah, is true. Really like, when you guys first met too? Not like first, oh, first but okay. like it's when we finally like. I mean, start not fucking with yeah, each other. No like homo. Really. No homo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Started like <laughs> that's that was the foreplay with Todd. Just to be clear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the you penetration came. Trying to get my pussy wet. Yeah, yeah. We Fuck just getting his pussy wet. You know, the <laughs> penetration came later on. We just playing with y'all. Really making me regret those <laughs> securing the masculinity. <laughs> 
Oh man, but nah, that's a big accomplishment, bro. That's Five point nine million subs, nigga. What yeah. uh what what do you think guys what do you think like gave you guys the the boost? A lot of things. Like in the YouTube game, I'm sure you guys see like you post stuff and then you start hitting these little tiers where YouTube pushes you a little bit. Mm -hmm. Get to hundred K. Like from fifty to hundred K was a little faster for us and then hundred K to two hundred K certain four hundred K we were stalled, bro. I remember we were at four hundred thousand. That's and, why like, I, I feel like I'm a little, little hey, yeah, We were hey, stalled shit. there for a minute. Yeah. We just hit four hundred thousand, a week went by, we went up like twenty subs. I was like Damn, yeah. I thought I like have like half a mil now. That four hundred k, and then five hundred k is a little bit, six hundred, and then seven hundred to a million, and five hundred to a million is different for every YouTuber. I feel like there's always that thing. Like DDG, he was doing those uh, like cringy music video reactions, mm -hmm. and I remember I watched him from four hundred k to eight hundred k in like yeah, quick. a month. And then our thing, we did the library pranks uh, when we were juniors in college. Y'all was fucking the game up with that shit, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Y'all yeah, last video was number what? Ten trending on YouTube. Number eleven on trending. That trending again. Yes, trending right now. Oh, it's trending right now? Yeah, it's yeah. trending right now, yeah. What is it? It was a Roddy Rich parody, right? Yeah, if Roddy Goats, Rich was bro, in the like, class. I really... Yeah, I respect it. Man. Yeah, I, I seen respect the ground you up. guys craft a lot. Yeah, yeah, we like to be proud of stuff that it's like timeless. Like you could watch our videos from three years ago and still laugh or whatever. Yeah. Like yeah. niggas don't know. We me and Tom went to one of y'all filming sessions, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you see they how actually it goes. featured us on their channel, mm -hmm. so we're cool. You know what when I'm you saying? Invite Hell when yeah, only guys sure. show up to a party, yeah, 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 sure yeah. Uh, go ahead and watch that video. No yeah, that yeah, one was great. They, they be, you guys be filming for hours, bro. We went to film school. Yeah. We know how we Damn. know how the process goes. Damn. Talk about um, I had to do set up all these C stands and stuff in college. Oof, yeah, that shit crazy. Not right? fun. Talk about how um, you guys both of you guys know each other, bro. Yeah, let's get into it. Sure. Where was our foreplay? Humble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, how did your foreplay like, stop? Who got before? who pushed it wet first? Shoot. Uh -huh. Yeah, talk about uh, talk about your little foreplay session before you know, you know, he started. Not he. I don't know who was who first, bro. Just get into <laughs> yeah. the story, bro. Just get. Yeah, into very the story. simple. I just remember it was it was uh, middle school, sixth grade, mm -hmm. Milton Summers Middle School. Uh, uh, me and Noah had the same gym class together, mm -hmm. and we eventually became friends as middle school progressed. I can't really even remember. When. I don't. I don't remember what it was. I just remember seventh, eighth grade. We were just hanging out every weekend. Yeah, just like we had mutual friends, and then yeah. all of a sudden we just became friends, and that was it. As simple as that. And then uh -huh. we ended up going to different high schools. Yeah. Uh, and then the same college, and and that's pretty Damn. much it. So yeah. How, how was going keep, to different high schools though? That's different. It was. Yeah, it was. Like, it was, was kind of fun because I think we both had completely opposite experiences, yeah. which was awesome. Um, was y'all far away living? From, did y'all live far away? From we you? only ten minutes away from each other, yeah. oh, and uh, so it's ahead. also weird how our birthdays are only two days apart. I'm September sixteenth, and he's September eighteenth. Eighteenth. So it's just like kind of weird. And then even when we went to college. We took every single class together from freshman year to senior year. Dope. I remember all our professors and stuff. People were like, "Are y'all gay?" Or like, do "You guys, um, <laughs> y'all go everywhere together?" Do you See, got, nah, I'm just or, or, or I think we get the question, the recurring question of, "Y'all not sick of each other by now?" And I was like, "Well, if we got this far, clearly not." But. And like, I mean, you guys, when's your guys' birthdays? How far apart are they? Um, he's Aquarius, and I'm a Taurus. Oh, we want to get into astrology real quick. Get into astrology. We can talk about that. Because I didn't even know you was a Taurus. Oh shit! But I yeah. just know your birthday though. Mm -hmm. So, so the birthdays are. Am I gonna? I'm, I really don't want to break it to you guys, but like astrology is like not real. Sorry, I, I know so it's sorry. not. That's why I don't even. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, <laughs> I just yeah, found out that I was in the Aquarius. I didn't even fucking know is that. Santa shit. Claus real? Uh, I think he is. Okay, okay. But um, Dude, see, that's the reason you guys uh hate each other is because you guys are just far apart in birthdays. Yeah, I yeah, think we're both Virgos. But so. like, but like, my birthday's February 14th. It's coming up, and then Pootie's birthday's on the sixth of February 16th. Okay, that's uh, all. So you guys are closer than you know. No, no I think I'm I'm a lot closer to my nigga Tyler Mofo. <laughs> okay, you know, Tyler. Like, I right, respect, respect. No, no, for sure. I, I think that. you know, kind of broke a couple times with him and shit. But um, I feel that the the simple reason that we get along is because we have the same kind of vision. Uh, mm -hmm. There's no kind of wavering of uh, goal. If we're both climbing the same mountain, we're trying to get to the same summit. So it's not like, hey, come over here, like, bro, this this trail. That's it's as simple as that. So yeah. what what are some goals for you guys? That, like what do you guys want to accomplish since you guys got the like same vision? Do you guys have like a together vision and then your own separate visions too? Like like give me some insight on that. Like what, what's yeah. coming? Like like what, what y'all got? Uh, I I would say that because we're doing this YouTube thing, obviously that's our main focus right now. Is mm -hmm. just without this ship, we don't get all the other opportunities that come mm -hmm. to us. So. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we're gotta keep feeding this little baby, constantly yeah. fueling this machine. But there is no telling what we could be doing a year from now, a, t a year and a half, two years, five years. No no clue. If you would have said I had six million subs. The, when I was a freshman in college, I'd be like, "That's crazy! I would have never right. believed you." Yeah. And here I am. So who knows? We yeah. we're basically open to every new opportunity that comes our way, 
and we're gonna take it. So that's dope, bro. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I want to get sponsored by some like. There's like this brand called Heli Hansen back home, mm. and that's like the DMV. That's like one of the pieces, stable pieces of being from our hometown. So, oh, yeah. just getting like collaborations with something like that, or like if you got sponsored by Crocs or something, I don't know. Just like funny little things like that. But well, I, I have a handful of things that I've written down specifically, like on my vision board and stuff, where it's lo- like the Heli Hansen sponsor is mm-hmm. one of our big goals. But uh, we don't even, we keep it to ourselves normally what we yeah. were t- aiming to hit because mm-hmm. when you put it out there sometimes, it's like. Yeah, it kind of yeah. puts like. People expecting people that shit. Expect it exactly. or, or it's like well, you set know. up you set up those expectations like, bro, I'm about to be in a gym, I'm about to have a six pack next week. And then I tell you all this and then a week you check on me. How's it going? Hey man. Hey man. Worry, hey, don't worry man. about that. Chill like, out. Like, like, just woke we gotta make sure we walk the walk. A little too late and then gym. kinda let you know, talk about it like once I'm already in action and it's kinda working out. Because if you don't talk the talk, but then you walk the walk, it just I think it comes across cooler. Yeah. yeah. I feel that like I'm I'm the type of dude like to Say how I feel with my niggas, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But to the world, correct, I ain't gonna really, you know what yep. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Get that energy out there. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I saw you was uh, Noah, you was um, I was making music, bro. I have you stopped or what? So yeah, that's, that's a whole new thing. Or? Yeah, so basically, I was like, what was it? Two like twenty. Basically, I was at my friend's house uh, mm-hmm. in 2016, and he had a mic downstairs, and his friends were just, like, freestyling. Yeah. And they were like, Noah, get on the mic. I was like, all right. So I just got on How the- did he say it? No, no get, get on, on the mic. mic. <laughs> and I got on it, and it was absolutely trash. And I was like, oh, but then hear my voice back, and then the guy put, like, just the yeah. worst auto-tune. I was like, why this is kind of cool? And then, yeah, I just had this friend uh, that made music, and I was like, shoot, let me just tag along and try this out. So I always made songs with somebody else because I was like, like I'm a YouTuber, like I don't want to. Them be songs was serious. doing numbers though, nigga. They weren't that bad, and then was, yeah, and then yeah, I uh, just kind of just put it aside because I was like, all right, well, the YouTube thing has to kind of work out. So yeah, if yeah. I put all my marbles into this basket, I'm taking away from that. So yeah. Yeah. last thing the I want to leave on but and also we were in college doing schoolwork and stuff, so it was kind of like hard to just like organize and stuff yeah. and. I'm getting calls from engineer while I should be doing homework. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> go, but go to Atlantic I think, real quick. Yeah, got some stuff in the vault right now though. Oh so uh, yeah, that's dope. That's hopefully dope. we get back into that 2020. Well, you had a, sure. what was your rap name? Uh, well, it's just Noah Boat. It's just been my. <laughs> hey, wait, so that's, that, that was your rap name, stage name too, Noah Boat. Yep, I got that in high school. Girls started calling me that in 10th grade. They're like Noah Boat. I was like, Yeah, there you go. We're doing it. That's it. We're keeping See, it. See now, did Boat come from Drip? So boat came from. Yeah. I don't think drip was from the Bible. Like I'm named after the Noah from the Bible, the whole mm. ark, the flood, oh, all that. And so sense. I just see like I'm not like a god or a prophet. So I was like, I can't deserve an ark. So I'll just have a little boat. But damn. And then so girls now, just started to call me that in high school. Rhino. Yes. The fuck that name come from, bro. You look nothing like a rhino. You look <laughs> more like a, a a stallion. Yeah, that's accurate. Um, a stallion. It's it came from I played soccer all my life, and one of my coaches when I was younger. Always called me Rhino because mm. the similarity to Ryan, and uh, yeah, I was I just played like forward and stuff and like scored the goals, so I had that Rhino mentality. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah, yeah now he Y'all can't got... be he can't be a professional soccer player because YouTube took over. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Nah, okay. But I and it is cool because how many I bet you know a few Ryans, but you only know one Rhino. I know Ryan yeah. Trahan. See, there's another Ryan. <laughs> Shout out Ryan Trahan. <laughs> hey, I know that's Ryan Trahan. That's, oh, the homie. Yeah, that's the homie. But yeah, there's a bunch of Ryans out there and. I, and also, I had Noah Boat before Lil Yachty even popped off. And Lil Damn. Boat, so, yeah. A lot yeah, of I people. Just, so, I had that since 2014. No Boat. No Boat. Yeah, no so Boat. Yachty, when Lil Yachty, Yachty popped my, off. My hey, bro. Drip. They're like, hey, you still Izzy. I was like, yeah, I've been Aww. had that. But, yeah. um, We both got some cool names. I think yeah. it's cool. As far as, look, I, one thing I love, right? I don't know if y'all niggas realize it yet. As, you know what I'm saying? Since we've been, you know, shooting this podcast. But I love women. Word. Who doesn't? You know what I'm saying? Well, I second people. that. I only love one woman. You, he's in a relationship. Right? Virgin Mary. But I love I love women, bro. And like, you know, I think I might have a problem. I think I'm addicted to women. It might have it might be a phobia <laughs> name out there for that. Uh huh. You know, but I'm celibate too. So that's Respect. also interesting. Something y'all should know. It's my twenty twenty resolution. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can be attracted um, to whoever, so Actually, wait, shout out to uh Rhino, man. You know what I'm saying? Open my eye. We me and him, he called I called him the other day actually. We had a long talk. Yeah, we you did. You know what I'm saying? We had a long talk. And uh, one of the reasons why I'm celibate is because of, of Rhino. Mogul talk. You know what um, I'm saying? But speaking of women, how's the ladies treating y'all out here, bro? 
I still be getting disrespected. Shoot, that I really? You know, you you always think that uh, once you get us, oh, once I get some status, yeah, then she'll start messing with me no. or whatever. Once you get that verification, y'all both verify, right? Yeah. yeah. See, man. Once you get the yeah. check, nigga, you know, I don't know why you ain't hit up Kim Kardashian yet. Y'all, y'all. No, because they they verified is a different type of verified. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fact. Wait, wait. To explain other types of verified, bro. I'm you get to that level, and then you think it's gonna be so much different. It's not really. Okay, um, so what's the difference? The difference is you still get disrespected, but um, I don't know. It, I'm trying to. This is a, least, this is a complex have, topic. You have more of a chance getting a response, obviously. But it doesn't mean the girl's going to be into you just because you're verified. Yeah. I feel like if I get a blue check, a girl like, here's my pussy, grab it. Ba it's like if you think of a woman as like a store, basically, uh -huh. and all these guys are lining up outside trying to get in. Yeah. Um, now, don't take this too literally late. Like, right, right. But. Um, Basically, the check gets you in the door. Yeah, you kind of skip the line. But you get to skip the line, but then you still have to get rung up. It's up to her if she wants to ring you up or not. Yeah, uh, I like that. Good like way that. to put I it. Like I it. love it. Yeah. So it's like, I'm here. What's up? Nope. All right, I'll head out. Oh, um, uh, okay. That's your card decline. So that's exactly what it is. So basically, <laughs> what you're trying to say is if you know you verify and you a guy that got Ty's hairline, you're not going. Chart. Imagine them being a guy and they look like you with your haircut. Bitch. <laughs> and there's also a downside to it where, all right, you verify what you know. All right, I'm cool. Why aren't these girls messing with me? I hear a lot of girls be like, uh, I don't care that you have any followers. I don't care about your clout. That's so, the first thing they want to say. That's the first thing they want to say. They have to put that out say. there. And it's yes. like, and I'm for like, somebody, like okay, <laughs> yeah, thanks. For, so, for somebody that doesn't care. Yeah. And I think, okay, hey, I'm... I, I don't care either. Yeah, but. yeah, and I'm gonna act like I believe it. <laughs> but uh, they be capping at the end. Uh, I, I try my best to just be be myself and not let. Oh, I got a check, like ha ha. Yeah, right. You know. Was it? Was you? Was it? Was you happy as fuck? I mean, of course you was happy. Like, did it? Like, was it surprising? Oh, the day you, got, you woke up and got verified. Oh, that day will be. That was a great day. For real? Yeah, it was like, oh, day. fuck, I'm verified. Because we were trying to get verified for years, man. Mm -hmm. well, what, what it really is, you have to have like, a lot of publications. Like, you have to have articles written on yeah. your stuff. So you're like a real public figure, like, mm -hmm. not no, a nobody. And yeah, it was. It had helped. I think we did, once we did the music video series, um, That's what us off, yeah. Complex wrote some articles on us, NBC News, some stuff like that. And then, yeah. I don't know. I just. I just woke up to it and I was tripping. I was Speaking like, of uh, videos and stuff like that, that uh, the music videos was hitting, bro. <laughs> like, hitting. how do you guys come up with you guys' ideas? Yeah, that was a funny one. That, those were back in just the dorm days. Yeah, what's Ryan, the brains and what's the like? What, how does that work? Yeah, Basically, I was just sitting in my room and Ryan walked in. Yeah, and, there's. I was gonna say the process of thinking of the videos. A lot of times, I'll just be sitting there. I'll look at YouTube videos and see like, oh, this is trending. This is popular. Oh, this is a funny title, blah, 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 blah. And I'll do it like that. But this one was a more, this happens with a handful of videos where I'm sitting there and I have this concept of, oh, this would be funny if there was this C. Dot Honcho gangster music video. And then you got a boy band song. That would be so funny if we did that together and like mashed them up. And then I told Noah about it. And then I was like, so we pulled up the video, two tabs on YouTube, one with the, the trap music video and then the love song. And I was watching, it's like, bro, this is funny. And I was like, we can do this. I was like, I can just hit up all the people I went to high school with. Let's go. Oh, you goon. And then, uh, yeah, and it was already December when Ryan had said that. So a lot of the timing just kind of worked out too. Yeah. And I was like, bet. So I was like, cool, time to hit up everybody. So I was like, yo, what's up? I got this idea. And I was saying it on FaceTime. Everybody was laughing. They're like, bro, I'm down. Let's do it. And then, yeah, we just got, like, 20 people for the first one. And we were recording it and stuff. I was like, this is so funny. And then, Did it take people a while to learn the lyrics? And that's the thing. When I told the, the – it was Ryan and we had two other lead guys that did the other parts of the song, they already knew it. And I was uh, like, this is how I knew rush. it was fun when everybody already knew that Big Time Rush boyfriend song. Did you all know what that song was before Hell you heard yeah, it? I was okay, big, big, big Time that's Rush. That's what I'm saying. I didn't know what it was. What was you that on? Okay. Nick, Nickelodeon yeah, or something? Yeah, there were like, claims that he doesn't know, but he Yeah, knew. he knows, nigga. He's probably a JB fan. <laughs> big Time Rush or some shit like that, right? And then, yeah, we – I was so close. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was real close. And then when I got that footage back from that shoot day – because when we filmed – Sometimes you really don't even know what it looks like till it's you know starts to edit it because we take it so serious. We're like, stop laughing, tray faces, look hard, let's do it, let's go, shot, shot, yeah. shot, focus, focus, focus. Yeah. And then when I synced up when I yeah bottles. when I synced up that clip with Ryan in the love song, I was like, bro, this is so funny. Yeah. Send it to him. He said, bro, I just watched it twenty five times. I was like, damn. And if it's somebody that already knows the idea, you filmed it and you have seen the video. Yeah. If you think it's that funny, imagine somebody hasn't seen it for the first time because it had that yeah. shock value. You were yeah. not expecting that. And that's why we set it up that 10 seconds of, oh, they about somebody, something about to happen. 
and then yeah, history viral, was made, bro. It went stupid. Yeah, that, that, was all like, over that was bigger than all our Facebook, stuff. Yeah. Instagram is all you saw for like a week straight. Bro, yeah, that's dope. I know you guys were proud with the fucking outcome. We went to shit. we went to Applebee's in thirty minutes. I was eating all the dessert we there. So bro, happy, that bro. shit went. By and then I was like, stuff that was never happening before. I was like, Vince Staples just quoted my tweet. Yeah, Kalani, um, Jesse McCartney, yeah, Charlie like, Puth, all them celebrities. Yeah, yeah I started seeing that shit too. I was like, damn. I was like, little old me, like, yeah, shit. us random kids from the if East Kalani, Coast. Kalani uh, retweeted my shit. I would have for sure slid in her DMs. Though. <laughs> they didn't follow us though. So. Yeah, they no just follow us. It's but cool, they, but it's... they know who you are. Now. Exactly, the acknowledgement is there. And yeah. then we think about all these maybe 10, 20 Big high name people mm-hmm. recognize it. Imagine all the people that didn't say anything. Yeah. They mm-hmm. saw it on time, laughs kept throwing. And I'm like, yeah. bro, who I don't know. Now you can go to a um Jay Z probably saw it. Beyonce constant. Be LeBron like, saw our second one. Damn, he LeBron. liked it on the complex Dope. page. They reposted Wait, LeBron it. LeBron did? Yeah. I, that was when my life was made right there. Damn. So I'm about to start playing basketball soon. It's crazy how we're already on the team now. Yeah. I'm basically on the team. Are you know what's team? crazy? I just nah. I just wanna I just wanna ask this question. I don't want to throw the vibe off or nothing, but how 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 was how'd y'all take the whole Kobe thing? Oof. Oh man, I'm uh, still not like it, I still, it doesn't feel real. It really makes you think because you hear about stuff happening to all people all the time, mm-hmm. and this car accident, and this, and that. yeah, and then it happens to somebody of this status, status, magnitude, yeah. caliber. It is just spooky. Yeah, bro. Yeah, put okay. you in check real quick. There, all this time is borrowed. Nothing's guaranteed, man. Yeah, and then all these problems you have, like somebody has it worse somewhere else, but. Yeah. You can't live in fear, but something like that is just so tragic. This is this made me think about uh, the episode of SpongeBob where he's in his house with the chip penny and used napkin. And y'all remember that episode? Mm-hmm. Just tell me you remember that episode. Oh God, I would I would not lie to you right now. Somebody out there probably does, but you know, <laughs> if you if you were going char- to char- 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 head, huh? <laughs> I grew up I grew up in the motherfucker uh, in the hood zone six. I was like, I ain't had no cable. I was watching uh, fourteen twenty two. Oh, y'all no, cannot let this fetch by rough rough me. Go to go to. Uh, on deaf ears, but there was an episode of SpongeBob where he was scared to go outside uh-huh. because of the scary things that were happening out there. There was yeah. a gorilla outside, yeah. um, and, and he lived as he was all scared and had a bad life. And the message of the episode was to not be fearful uh, and too scared to do anything because then your life will not be a life mm-hmm. a fulfilled right. life. Yeah, and <clears throat> I've had to try to take that approach of yeah. like, you know, these terrifying things happen, but what a what will my life become if I'm too scared and just well, I'm just not going to go on anything anymore. Yeah, I'm just going to stay inside. Okay, Speaking I think the best thing dope. we could do is just celebrate his life now. Just Don't worry about the tragic ending of it, but kind of focus dope. on everything he did okay. do for everybody. But That's dope. Speaking about being scared and staying out, do you guys like have any haters? You ever, or is it mo- like mostly love? We got a lot of just internet trolls. You know how it is. Mm-hmm. After, and that's the thing, you scroll through the 100 comments, you get the one negative one. You're like, man, you know. Bro, but the thing is, why the fuck niggas be hating, bro? That shit piss, be pissing me off sometimes. I ain't got nothing sometimes else you got to also look at them as like, man, that's probably a little ass. Yeah, we did. Kid, I'm like, it's bro, a, like, a 12 year old at his phone. Like, like, I never I'm seen a, a hater in person. Man. Yeah, we've yeah, never yeah. had a, no haters in real life ever. So um, say what you want online, I guess. It's yeah. easy behind a keyboard, real yeah. easy. And yeah. we're not here to do no like do no wrong by people. Like we're just yeah. hey, we're here to make our comedy videos, and we don't post any drama. We're not like mm-hmm. drama I never heard of no uh, love live serve. You know what I'm saying? Rhino, Rhino, and Noah and motherfucking uh, internet scandal beef or with something. anybody right. scandal yeah, 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 drama yeah. alert. And yeah. and that's kind of probably the reason why we're underrated. That's probably the one yeah. thing because and I like we so. gotten, because we haven't got into all that yet. Why do y'all feel like y'all underrated? We're not, really talk- we're not really no, talking. We're not really talking. I can see that. We're not, not talking about you. But you be trending on fucking YouTube <laughs> and have the most viral videos. They know the face. You're like, oh, those, those guys. Six million but but they're not, they not talking but, about it. But us. still, exactly, 100%. Like, bro, the Jake Pauls, the Logan Pauls. There you go. That I, I can see that. Rice gum and list of Yes, lies. yes, all of them. I, I can see that. I can, right. I can see that 100%. See, the thing is, they know who the fuck y'all are. At the end of the day, it's like, bro, it's mm-hmm. like, imagine, you know what I'm saying? Um, Damn, I was just finna like put the very worst comparison in the world. At the worst time, so. Okay. But imagine being like um, a tennis player, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, you 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 like the number one tennis player in the motherfucking world, right? And then the top, you know, the top five tennis players in the game, right? But then y'all niggas is like number six, and you <laughs> feel underrated just because you number. But the that's motherfucker at top know who the fuck you is. That's the worst comparison in the fucking. I game. think it's valid. I think, that's but you see good, what the fuck I'm saying? That, that does make a lot of sense, though. Yeah, bro, niggas know who the fuck you are. Is what I'm trying to say. Basically, yeah, I don't think you should feel underrated. 
I think you guys are just maybe sleep on yourself when you just waiting for that uh what is it that red play button when you get ten yeah. million subscribers. <laughs> That's a diamond. The red one's fifty million. Damn. Damn. Okay, so y'all I waiting can, for the I diamond can, one? Trying to get I that can diamond. agree with y'all saying that because I feel like y'all don't get the credit that y'all y'all really need. Mm. I, me and Chuck both filmed with you. I see all the damn time it takes to film. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I respect that. <laughs> sometimes. Like sometimes I be, I be in my crib I be like fuck man, like I love I love making videos and shit but like you you guys yeah. is lame and shit I like right. I will that's shit that I I want to do more time with shit like that yeah, yeah you know what fun. I'm saying but the thing is man a lot of people don't see how much hard work it is not at all you know all. what I'm saying they just see the video exactly they don't see everything that they gotta do for it Fact. you know what I'm saying see what we saw bro yeah you bro gotta conceptualize the idea work, write the mm -hmm. script. Film for hours, edit for a couple of days, recut it, blah, blah, blah. They literally have a whole script and the niggas be yeah. following by. And shit. We had like, some it's like friends a movie, over. Bro. Ryan was writing all his videos out in the room, working hard. Our friends came over. What you doing? Writing YouTube videos? What you doing? Homework or something? You write? Yeah. You, yeah. We just shoot our videos. We don't write nothing. And I was like, dang, that's just how we do it, I guess. Little yeah. do they know that shit making y'all thousands and thousands <laughs> and thousands of dollars. Well, like, like you said, also, all that hard work, we'll do those for like the Roddy Rich or all of these rappers kids we do. We don't mm -hmm. get one dime off that. And oh, that's, damn. That's like two, three days of hard yeah. labor works so. mm -hmm. and, and a lot of times because we just love the videos they're fun to make mm -hmm. and yeah. that's what we did it for is the passion the craft we're still gonna create even if that one doesn't yeah make i didn't money. even i forgot all about that i never thought even those music that. videos all the ones that went viral yeah. made no dime Damn. big time rush they I, went they went trending on apple music for a whole week after that uh -huh. they got that fat check from love the server right Damn, did they, they show y'all love zero dollars yeah, yeah, yeah we, we got to dm them they were cool uh, it was cool. They said the whole band loved it. Uh, damn. Um, that that I I totally forgot about that shit. Yeah, like, I forgot that, about that. That's even yeah. more respect. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Because right. sometimes, bro, like if I if I post a video and I should got little music and that shit get copyrighted, I'm like fuck that. I'm not posting that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. don't care. You know what I'm done. saying? Cut it out. Dang, that's Hell respect, no. man. Sometimes you yeah. got you got to do shit for the fans, man. Give me every to really give bro. them. That's why they subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Correct. Do different Correct. type of shit. You know what I'm saying? My, I was gonna make a point of like, it's hard to get your video seen by everybody. Like you have a core fan base, but you know there's so many people that don't know who you are. So if somebody were to stumble upon one of our videos, my hope is that they can watch and be like, oh, this was actually pretty good quality. Like, oh, they put spend their time on this because you never get a second chance to make a first impression. So yeah, if the first video they're gonna see of us, I want it to be something like nice and presentable and clean. And yeah, that, yeah. yeah, so that's kind of why we spend so much time and we're willing to do the no money on like probably 30, 40 percent of the videos is because mm -hmm. I don't care. I do it for the art. Right. And, and the, that's and the respect. Viewer. That is yeah. a lot of respect. How, how them uh, how them brand deals looking, bro? Them shit's hitting? So uh, we're, we're not really. We're slowing down. It's those because it's, it's always I, like y'all not the only ones slowing down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no care. At, but then you do a brand deal, and then it's like these guys sold out, man. Right, I remember when right. they used to do. Now they just the now fame their prices changed are them. crazy. Yeah. And I'm like, man, I gotta pay rent. Hey, man, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta eat. I gotta. LA eat expensive too. I just did all those rapper videos. I didn't make no yeah. money. But we're hey, we're gonna I continue seen, to do what we want to do. And I seen, I seen, uh, you know, I'm gonna say this for another time, but I just want to, you know, give him a little shout out because he's not here. But Rob going crazy. Rob's our going roommate. Go. Crazy. Our roommate Rob. Going we got to crazy. watch him blow up in our apartment. That is Great. crazy. Well, Rob. Shout out crazy. Rob, man. No, he's, Rob. He works so hard. We met him probably like a year after we met y'all at VidCon. He was like somebody's friend, mm -hmm. and we we're like, who's this guy? And then went to the parties. He was dancing. So I was like, oh, this guy kind of cool. And then we talked to him. And then he hung out with us the whole time we were out here in LA for like two months, and we just saw he he works he worked a full time job, uh, from like six a.m. to five p.m. and then went home, uh, taught a dance practice from six p.m. to twelve oh, wow. midnight every night, and then stayed there from twelve to three just to make his YouTube videos. And he did that for three years straight. Damn, respect, Rob. Bro. Respect, hey, Rob. He's a zombie. He's a monster. So mm -hmm. I said the same that. thing about Ty. That's crazy. Yeah, I got a stupid work ethic too, man. But I got to get back to it, man. Yep. Like when you when you really want to do something and and you want to work hard, you'll set some time for you, it. You set yeah. time for it, and you gotta be self disciplined as fuck. Yeah, you have to be yeah. like obsessively. You have to be so obsessed with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, your surroundings, man. I can say, um, when I when I first met Rob is when I uh, came to you guys' crib. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. That and was uh, pretty Rob recent. was cool. You know what I'm saying? But I can tell. Hanging out with you guys mm -hmm. really influence. I, I, I yeah, me yeah, personally, it's my opinion. Sure. I think you guys influence influence them in a yeah. in a really beneficial way. Yeah, you know what I'm we saying? all help each other as far as content and everything like that, bro. 
when I was with y'all, the day after that truck, I'm like, fuck what the fuck I do. Fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I really respect oh, you guys' content. Yeah, but Just you like Pootie. Yeah. Pootie makes amazing content. He takes his fucking time. Pootie, There's a lot of content creators out there. Yeah. That's like, niggas don't realize how much shit they do before the video yeah. come out. That you got... I won't even consider the bullshit YouTubers, but you also got the niggas <laughs> that just turn the camera on for 10 minutes make quick. The worst is when, like, out. adults or stuff come to us, and they're like, so, like, what are you actually going to do? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's the, vi- the videos online. They're just videos. Those aren't hard to do. Like, I like people that just kind of, like, yeah. wash over. It's yeah. just a video. Yeah, and sure. I'm like, you do it then, but... Uh, <laughs> People nah, don't understand, like you said, the hard work coming. and effort. Yeah. And you see what, a 3, 6, 10, 20 minute video? You don't know how much time went into all that. Hell nah. My favorite thing about Rob is that, like you were saying, uh, it's possible that we influenced him, but that man's so funny that it's really like a we bounce off of each other. I'm like, Rob, give me an idea for this thing, or he'll ask me for my input. And it's just like bouncing off each other. Mm-hmm. And really, that's so true. It sounds cliche, but whoever you surround yourself is pretty much who you become. So, yeah. so you guys really don't... From what I know, like I said, I met you guys Been a minute. almost three years ago. You know what I'm saying? And y'all never had an ego to me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all nah, never I've... really cared yourself like y'all the shit right. or none mm. of that shit. I always got a, like a genuine, cool, regular nigga vibe. Facts, you know what I'm saying? Facts, facts. Yeah. Um, Now, with that being said, Rob, when he comes in the picture, is it like... um? You like y'all don't ever have no problems like as far as ego or you guys all are like nah, we're like team yeah. team structure it's definitely never. team vibe yeah always I personally don't get any sort of rush of being like I'm the cool I'm yeah. big man mm-hmm. over here like we're filming our video today not yeah. yours mm-hmm. like, yeah. nah, six million subs what mm-hmm. do you have like mm-hmm. yeah. that does not give me any sort of happiness what at all and nor does it for Rob like Rob's always been that's why we get along yeah I already like, had his respect off the jump after hearing his story and what he does like. He's writing them, filming them, editing them, much like you guys do. Like, I give respect to the people that you do them by yourself, though. Mm-hmm. That's a whole nother thing because you wake up one day, man, I don't want to film. And then you tell that little voice in your head, you don't film. Yeah. If I don't want to film, he's like, we filming. I'm like, yeah. guess I'm filming. <laughs> we have the extra push of the duo. So for him to do everything by himself and get to a million subs by yourself, much respect. And for y'all to even get to the level y'all are at by yourself, like, you know. It's, it's tough, bro. It's tough. It's, it's tough. tough. Especially, like, have you guys ever wanted to change content? I just I like or what do we make something different. We we I think we can do it all. We can do a lot of different I, I stuff. I want to try whatever we can't do. We because we went to film school, we know how to vlog and we know how to make a skit and how to do a documentary or yeah, how to pace this video so it's not uh, something doesn't stretch out too did long. Film school, would do you think it was beneficial for you guys? It definitely yeah, was. Yeah, it was a blessing. A lot of people curse. say school like me personally, my opinion with school it's good if you gotta go, but my opinion, <laughs> fuck school. I don't think I'm gonna learn anything. From you're it. talking it's to it. two niggas that graduated. I know, and right? I respect no, no, yeah. that. I respect that. That was hard. Well, Damn. 100%. It, it uh, gave us, it helped us find out the YouTube thing was what we were gonna do. Mm-hmm. We graduated high school kind of like, Ryan didn't know what he was gonna do. I didn't know what he was gonna do. Yeah. But I was like, our parents, traditional route, just go to college. We went to college because the film classes, the way this college is set up, you do them right away, freshman year. We started doing them. We already learned a little techniques, and then we just ran in with it. When we had all our free time, made videos. But had we not had that, maybe we would have not done the videos. So. And the school thing, you can either have it work for or against you. Yeah. And it could have worked against us. Like, I hate school. I hated the classes. Yeah, I don't yeah, want to yeah. sit there with freaking uh, Carl Weezer next to me being annoying <laughs> and stuff. Like, there's an there's aspect that's really not fun. But then it was like, am I going to let that be, dictate my, my future and stuff? Is hanging around all these people I don't like. Yeah. No, I'm going to find something that's going to actually help me. Oh, let's make some videos. Oh, let's have our classmates be in the videos. Exactly. Let's use the classrooms to film. Oh, we could do some pranks on, on campus in the libraries instead of, I hate being here. This is not right. fun. Mm-hmm. Well, so you guys home. made the best out of your <laughs> Yeah, we use it as a playground. We capitalize mm-hmm. on mm-hmm. the classrooms. Speaking that's our set, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Speaking of school and shit. I seen the first, first, first. I don't know if it's the first video, but yeah. you over there, you had like a grad high school graduation speech that went. Oh yeah, fucking like num- that oh, did that like was crazy. The hell of views on YouTube was that the oh, most shit. random shit ever or what? Yeah, that was. Pretty much. I was at the very beginning of our YouTube channel, and when I was a, it was a graduation speech. I think I was a sophomore in high school, and my brother graduated high school. Mm-hmm. And at his graduation, there was a kid that gave a graduation speech, mm-hmm. and I said, I want to do that. I want to be on a doing a speech. Mm-hmm. So I finally got to be class president. So I said, oh, I'm going to be class president. Boom. I got elected. And uh, I did a speech. We posted it. 
and it got like 300 views like in the first day yeah and then as the years went on it, every it, time like the graduation year came around it would get buzzed yeah. we were like kids that were probably writing speeches right now I think <laughs> 11 mil 11 million and I'm not even funny. A fucking like, graduation speech. On a gra- and I tried to do the college one too. Um, here's oh, a, you I never f- talked about this, but um, that's where Ryan. We were about to drop out. Y'all, For real? y'all get on. some angry. This is my little rant. I don't tell people because you spoke for middle school, right? We sp- yeah, we speak to middle schools. We do yeah. all this stuff. Basically, I said I did the 11 million views on the high school speech. Mm-hmm. Oh, we got to do the college one. And now man. we're like known for YouTube and stuff. We got to do the college speech. Yeah, we had almost five million Come subs. Back. Like, mm-hmm. I, hey, like this yeah. is my chance for. Two years, I tried to talk to every single person and submit everything I possibly could, speak to every higher up person to give myself the best chance at being speaking. Yeah, for college. For the college. Um, I put my name, like, uh, I was like, hey, I want to put myself in the running for the thing, whatever I got to yeah. do, Ye- for y- literally two years. And um, what do you think they did? The, yeah, no. they didn't, I don't, the teachers didn't even uh, put me in the hat. To be, like, in I don't the care running. that you got two million subscribers. Yeah, bro, they, get the fuck. None they, of our professors. They care. wanted somebody who represented the the student body more, and somebody that was more involved with the school, mm, and not I mean, the extra curriculum. Exactly. I mean, and, it also makes sense though, you know. Yeah, and, I, and I was like, you know what? It's a university. They got their own money yeah, to make. Yeah. I try my best. They don't. People don't want to see that type of stuff happen. That's fine. I'll just do a TED talk in front of more people. Yeah. Like, yeah, see, for sure. yeah. don't now, invite us back. Be, with that being said, bro, like that 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 at least at least you went out knowing that you gave it your best and mm-hmm. tried. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that's how I feel about a lot of shit. It's like if I don't try, how the fuck I'm gonna know? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You're never gonna know the outcome. I always feel like go with your gut and always at least try. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You hit so, one row bump. And it's not for me. Mm-hmm. I'm out. Same thing yeah. with like this wall of there's like a million subscribers for everybody, but just get there. Like I can't, I can't figure out how to get over this, and then you yeah. just go back. Hell yeah! yeah. It's like yeah, I feel you. If you really want it, you'll do it. What go down, man? Thank you guys for making it this far in the podcast. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe to us on iTunes and everywhere else. I want to give a special shout out to my boys over there at ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN protects your privacy and security online, right? But here's something you don't know. You can also use ExpressVPN to unlock movies and shows in different countries. Now that so many of us are stuck at home, it's only a matter of time until you start running out of stuff to watch on Netflix. But this whole week, guess what I've been watching? What you been watching? Fresh Prince of Bel-Air on Netflix Australia. It's so simple to use. All you got to do is fire up the ExpressVPN app, change your location, and refresh it on Netflix, and then you got it. See, ExpressVPN hides your IP address so only you can know where you're located. Do you watch Dragon Ball Z? Every day. Man, you can use ExpressVPN to access Japanese Netflix and be spirited away. No way. No cap, but it's not just Netflix, bro. What else? ExpressVPN works with any streaming service. Hulu, BBC, iPlayer, YouTube, you name it, bro. They got it. There are hundreds of VPNs out there, but the reason I use Express VPN to watch shows is because it's ridiculously fast. Damn There's sake. never any buffering or lag, and you can stream it on HD with no problem. Bro, I ain't even done yet, bro. Really? Guess what else? What else? Express VPN is also compatible with all your devices, so such as your it. phones, a media console, smart TVs, work and my camera? more. Bro, it's good with all devices, bro. No cap. So you can watch what you want on a personal device or on a big screen, wherever you are. Dang. It's crazy. I got something to tell the people. Let me hear it. If you use my special link right now at expressvpn.com slash come through, you can get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. Support the show, watch what you want, and protect yourself at ExpressVPN at expressvpn.com slash come through. All right, y'all. So, look, man, we asked y'all enough questions for the day. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad we got y'all here today. You Thank feel you me? for having like, us. Like, I'm glad y'all here. But, look, man, we got this segment called Gas of Ass. We're going to listen to three SoundCloud rappers, uh, songs that they submitted to us via DM that they DM to me. Mm-hmm. And as a collective here, we all going to rate whether it's gas or ass. Okay. This sounds fun. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you got headphones behind you and shit, so put your headphones on. Word. I always feel bad, like I'm not. Uh, and you got to keep it real. I'm not even a musician, but I'll give it my honest right, listener's right, right. opinion. If they're ass. You got to tell them straight up. Looking at the camera and say, "Hey, bro, stop making music for the rest of your life." 
I don't want to crush his dream. Look him directly in the camera. Never make him say <laughs> it again. It might make him go harder if I say it's bad. So yeah, you need constructive yeah, criticism. Yeah, no cap. He might no be cap. the next Roddy Rich. You never. You know. never know, bro. Facts. All right, there we go. Yeah, let go. Yeah. Swish. See, it's not like Benianas. I'ma shoot it like a vaccine. Let me eat it like a clip. All this cum you gon' wear. I bust nuts by the pit. Dunkin' on it. But I shoot like Golden State I'm, I'ma shoot up in the pistol like basket Tell a dunk up on the dead like basket I'ma shoot up in the pistol like basket Tell a jump up on the dead like basket I shoot, I switch, I shoot, I switch Bro, I stop, me, bro. bro, that, that shit, shit is fucked Nah, nah, don't even, that. don't even You gotta, we gotta ask them first before we give our opinion, bro I like the cool little pan effect with his voice going from it a did. left it to was, the right. I thought I was tripping, bro. He did that the, gave he, me a headache. He did the, the baby off the rip as soon as he I like play. it. I'm really critical of people's music. I like that. I don't like the this voice sound. He can't help that. But I like the flow. Bro, this nigga said switch that. Switch. What the fuck? <laughs> I think bro. the beat was cool. I think he didn't have a terrible rapper voice. I give it to him. I feel like he Gas can't. I feel like he can't rap. Gas or ass. See, those are too extreme. Right. Like, you can find an in-between. It's not very good, but it's not very bad. What do you call it? Um, that's, okay. I mean, I'd there's skip it on the playlist. But... That's not my style of music. If it's not tied to guy in Chark, who's playing that? You Damn. Know? Yeah, one, yeah, 100. I think ass. I'll give him gas, personally. Yeah. I'll gas him up. Gas. Ty? Uh, ass. <laughs> ass. I bet. No, no, no. Two no, ass no, and two no, gas. No. That's not my style of music. Mm. There you go. That's not my style. Fuck that it's style. Probably, that shit was no, ass. Bro. It's a sound for everybody, bro. I don't give a fuck. That shit ass. Niggas listen to Daddy Long Lick. <laughs> Lick the neck. <laughs> next song, Ty. Please play the next Lick song. Because that shit was fucking ass. Next up. Why neck coming out in three weeks? Yes, I did he do? Neck. Yeah, got the inside scoop. Oh, he's in jail? <laughs> yeah, he got locked up like a year ago. <laughs> why? Oh, you said why neck? Why neck? No, oh, no. oh, not oh, long no. neck. Okay, 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 okay. I hope not. Yeah, I'm like, damn. Knock on wood. That nigga got famous for having a wide neck. <laughs> bro, that's think, hilarious. Think about that. Think about that. A wide neck. Is your connection good? So we still keep talking shit about wide uh, neck and long neck. Go ahead, do your thing. Here we go. All right, y'all. Next up, we got Liam. His name. His wait, name, wait, wait, wait. What? Liam or Liam? L-I-A-M. I don't know how. Liam. Probably Liam. 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 Sure. Liam. Liam. Don't want to be him. I'm going. I'm <laughs> going to tell you that. That's my response after I listen to the song. The song name is Ignorant. Produced by. Money sign Edgar. I guess he's trying to uh, promote his cash app. But <laughs> let's get into this song. Ignorant. Y'all watching the Jake Paul fight tonight? It's tonight. 6 p.m. So not tonight. Here we Even. go. Here we go. You ready? Ignorant. Let's get it, man. Ignorant by Liam. Produced by Money Sign Edgar. <laughs> yeah. That's my yeah. type of vibe for a beat. What yeah. the fuck going on? Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I just see the bands, bitch, you know I cannot wait. Pull up on the fans, we get working right away. Blow a couple grams, take that shit right to the face. I'm that east side, on me to the grave. Throw them peace signs up and then we pay. Tory Lane. I man. just need my hundreds in the safe. Up in the late night, working the day. I'm gonna take flight, go to the bay. Y'all be running your mouths, talking about me, I need a break. Me and all of my homies gonna get round. All right, Todd. I think that's good. That shit is fuck. Yeah, I, I'm uh, fucking I, 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 What y'all think, bro? Not my style, Mixed but I opinion. think it was good. I think it was good. I think it was good. So um, y'all like the last one better than this shit? Personally, I like the first one. They're two different. I sounds. like that one better than this. This one. one's more melodic. The other one was the trap. Damn. Like, I, if this I can't say I can't say ass. If, unless it's ass, this was not ass, so I can't see that. So I think he just gets a better engineer. That will sound smooth. Yeah, it, it sounded like a little. The yeah. vocals a little off, a little. The low. beat was. He sounded like Tory Lanez, yeah. right? The the beat wasn't very high quality or mixed. But they're just starting out, so they're making this with whoever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. I think gas, bro. I'll give him gas. I give him gas. Yeah, for sure, gas for me. I got like a. Damn, Gardy that's full gases. I think yeah. you gotta change a rap name, Liam. Like, yeah, I don't like Liam. That's yeah. whack. Next up, hey. Liam. Yeah, <laughs> man. Well, hey, that next up whack. to the stage, come on, Liam, man. Make <laughs> Liam. That shit's so ass. Like hey. you say, little Liam. That sound little. Hey, yo, name ass music <laughs> soundtrack. Fucking gas. Yeah, That's no his way. thing, though. Maybe you he presents it that way. Uh, You're like, Liam. What's his song? Ignorant. Ignorant. Who? Uh, by Liam. By Liam. Who? 
<laughs> but then you play the song, you're like, oh, respect. I, I, I. And got a young in front of it? <laughs> young Liam. Little Liam. Oh, young so his Liam. name is Young Liam? Nah, it need to be. But no, rapper yeah. names, it's hard to get a good one out of this. Right. Four guesses, man. Yeah, keep it up, bro. 100. What's the next one? Next up, we got, I'm not going to lie to you at all, man. I can't even pronounce this. <laughs> Look, You want to try? Let's see. Oh, that's, oh. That's a Catoirinia. <laughs> Catoirin, Couture. She got to change the brand. I'm going to change your name to KT for the rest of this segment. Um, KT, we got special by KT. Let me know if this is gas or ass. From your name, no disrespect to your name. I wouldn't click it, but <laughs> I'm about to click it right now. Y'all so let's go ahead and get, get it. Click. And I'm gonna get you right. All right. Okay. Came in that motherfucker. And I'm gonna get you right. All right. Oh. Uh, uh. And I'm gonna get you right. All right. Damn, bitch, be cooking head. She said, "Baby, you is special." And I'm gonna get you right. All right. Late night special. She said, "Baby." What? The beat hard. Bro, this is a Florida vibe. Pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it. This is a fucking Kodak vibes. That's what I'm getting, nigga. Yeah, but his engineer need need. <laughs> Let it play a little bit more. Play yeah, it, keep man. playing. I'm sorry. This nigga Baby, no way ain't fucking with. You is special. And I'm gonna get you right. All right, late night special. Yeah, she said, baby. If this is Kodak saying it, it'd be hard as fuck. And I'm gonna get you right. All right, late night special. Got a number on speed dial. Pull up, baby, come, come out. We bumper got shit from the car. I love. Put my hand right over her in my house. She had the whole bed with her. Had me smooth how she used her mouth. Yeah. Feed it for you. Okay, I can divide. Um, um, I see why you took it off. So I think the chorus was ass, but. I think the I was impressed by the right. verse. Okay. Yeah, the, the the verse. Like you is, said, if Kodak was saying the chorus, yeah, smooth, yeah. smooth, yeah. hard. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gas or ass? That's the main question. I I can't be too nice. I'm gonna I say, say ass. ass. I gotta say drop the chorus. The, you can't. No, no, I'm not gonna say you can't do what you can't do, but just keep doing the raps. I yeah, the about, raps. I don't know about the melodies are for you. Yeah, these I, niggas trying to be nice and shit. Fuck that. That's just fucking ass, bro. And look. he said. Keep rapping. He fucking lying to you, bro. <laughs> Stick to your day job. I'm going to still say ass stuff because it don't get the full what I thought. I see where you was going with the song, but I feel like you could have said it a little better. I'm not going to say it's ass, though. Straight up. Keep making music. <laughs> keep vibing, my brother. <laughs> shout out KT. Yeah, shout out KT. Yeah, shout out for show for the Shout to out say KT it. for show. Yeah, I was going to have a heart attack. Um, <laughs> Next up, man. Talk to me, Chuck. All right, man. So, look. We was out here. You know what I'm saying? Rain people bars and shit. Now, I ain't want to, uh, you know, um, give y'all uh introduction to this beforehand. So I'm just gonna catch y'all off guard. Yeah, I know. Uh, I was just last watching, segment. I was just watching Rhino. Get Rhino, you gotta, you gotta. I don't know why you took your headphones yeah, off. Yeah, like yeah, everything I was, cool. I was, I was just watching. I was just nah, watching. Nah, 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 nah. Put your headphones back on, bro. Here we go. No, nah, you actually need it on. on. Okay. Yeah, 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 put it on. Put it on. So listen, man. Like I said, this next segment called Got Bars. Oh, we about to freestyle. Oh, yeah. We all in this bitch going freestyle. Listen. Now, these are all beats that <laughs> we have minute. never heard before. I ain't never hear none of these beats too, bro. So it's catching everybody off guard. Yeah. So, um, I'll start it off. Just have fun with it. Yeah, just have fun. We'll, oh, no, we'll create Char- the vibe. Let's create Char- the vibe. You, you start it off. I'll start it off for you then. I'll go after Let's you. Let's create the vibe. Hell yeah. We're going to make sure y'all vibe. You ready, right. Chizzy? Hell Yeah. And I'ma rate your bars if it's ass, it's ass. <laughs> On God. <clears throat> uh. Shit. Okay, it's right. Huh. <laughs> yeah, okay. Chit. <laughs> yeah. Bitch. Bitch. Fuck two hoes. Shit. Kick him off the boat. Hey. I'm with no one mm. and my nigga Ryan No. Yeah. Tie the guy, Chizzy Turk up in this bitch. Yeah. And we ain't sipping liquor, but nigga, we stay lit. Damn. Ooh. Shit. Air Force on my feet. Yeah. Shit, nigga, shout out to Seat Geek. Yeah. Shit. Fuck, nigga, all I spit is heat. Yeah. Nigga, go wake up, fuck, sleep, then I repeat. God I woke dang. up this morning and I got straight to the bread. Uh. Woke up this morning to a bad bitch giving me Need some, some head. head. Ooh. Wake up in the morning, got the cheese, I'll make my bread. Ooh. Nigga be talking that fuck shit, got the uh. 
Bop, Little nigga. Bop. Uh. Ride around with a sister. Ride uh. around with a bad bitch and her sister. Yeah. Bad bitch calling me mister. I'm pleasing uh. her good and she call me pastor. Yeah. Yeah. She praying for a nigga like me. Uh. And I'm piping her good. Uh. Uh. Giving her this wood. Yeah. Yeah. Giving her this wood. All right, let's pass it up. Hold up. Who oh, got shit, it? Who got it? No more Rhino. Who got it? Who got it next? I, I don't even know if I could. I don't know if I it's can. It's fifty k uh, for eight bars. So. Okay. 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 Oh, uh, that's how you, you feel. You want Cash App or PayPal? Oh. Yeah. I Sorry. can't. I, 25, I don't know if I can do 20, that. I, I got twenty five. You got twenty five. Uh, fifty k for eight bars. I think they pay PayPal ready. I don't think I'm in a zone for no freestyle. Yeah, Shit. I'm not. Lit how about I'm I gotta not, be I'm that not, guy? I'm not good enough. Sorry, bro. I bet. Listen, listen. How about you give me some comical bars? Comical bars. Give me um, y'all. Ca- y'all caught me at the not the right moment for no freestyle. Damn. Wait, wait. It's <laughs> love <laughs> lift served the first people that's not gonna free. I how, how about this? How about this? Y'all don't want to. Y'all can't. Y'all don't want to freestyle for us today. I'll give you one bar. Uh, one bar. Give me one bar. Give me one bar. You want acapella? <laughs> wake, wake up, eat my frosted flakes, cause I'm the greatest. Uh. Boss up or get bossed around. Life's what you make it. Uh. I, heard, I heard that Young Done. Thug song. That was that was hard. <laughs> what song was that again? Noah Boat, 2020. Damn. Oh, unreleased. Hold up, finish it. That shit sounded hard. <laughs> Nigga, finish that shit. I need the chark and tie features. So. Oh, damn. Well, we gotta finish that. Hey, later. hey, chark. 50k, motherfucker. <laughs> hey, one more beat. How about this? Y'all look, y'all, we're gonna play one more beat, but it's for me and Ty. We're gonna freestyle for y'all. Mm-hmm. Y'all just rate the bars. If we, if we had a lit freestyle, okay, I prefer that. Let, I, let's, I let's, see, let's see who do better, me or Chizzy. I bet. You start the next one off. I saw the last Damn, one. Damn, I gotta start that bitch off. Hell yeah, nigga. Damn. Cut me off. You caught me off guard and you cut me off, nigga. What are you talking about? Uh. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna close my eyes. I gotta get my vibe. Don't fuck it up. Uh, bad bitch gonna suck on me cause a young nigga fly. Uh, uh. Chillin' with my guy, nigga Ronald and Noah, them motherfucking guys. Woo! Podcast 1422, got a bad bitch and you know she come through and she gonna suck me and she fuck the whole crew. Damn. Yeah, count them blues. Uh. Yeah, my bank account love me. Uh. Walk in the store and I'm spending them hundreds. My life lovely. Uh. Yeah. Shit. Walking around with a bad bitch. Pocket green like cabbage. Yeah. Life really fucking lavish. Yeah. I'ma pull up with the latex. Yeah. That mean it's a condo. <sighs> Young Chizzy Char really be clutch. Yeah, my name LeBron, bro. I already know what you're talking about. Young nigga got hella clout. Stick my dick out. Ooh, then I make uh, put it in. Uh, I, I, uh, fuck, I yeah, fucked it up. Yeah. Damn, I was at it, man. I mean, I could rate. I could rate. This for all right, bet what y'all man. think right there. Hold up, what y'all Mine think? Was better. Who had the better bar? Yeah, sure. They were both ass though. No, nah, I think I was. You guys are pretty good at that. No, yeah, you guys are good. I think I think I ran it just a little bit. Are these all written or are you guys? Hell no, that was the off top. the top of the I'm fucking head. Right. I don't know okay. what I just said. That's pretty good. I'm okay. sorry, but I'm gonna side with my guy Chark over here. He was setting up the bars with the latex and the con and the yeah, LeBron I know, bar. I, know. I was trying to, I was trying to. Switch. But yeah, I gotta give it to Chark too. I'm sorry, uh, Ty. I'm sorry, Ty. But I like, I like the I first one. You, you just missed the depth. Bro. I yeah, missed the depth. That's the most disrespectful so thing sorry. in the community. I'm so Man. sorry. You know what I'm saying? But hey, you rode the beat better though. I but you ain't have better bars yeah. than me, bro. That's all it come down to. Yeah, I think that's accurate. You know what I'm saying? But hey, man, look, little is served. Rhino Nova, yes, you know sir. what I'm saying. Appreciate y'all niggas for coming out to the Thank goddamn Thank you guys very park. much. Yeah. Y'all enjoy. Y'all ain't gotta time. walk away though. Y'all ain't gotta walk away. I just wanted to dap him up for the oh of us. Uh, shit. When they get when they get Rhino getting ready to lead a set <laughs> and shit. Like damn, bro. I just wanted to say uh, appreciate y'all niggas for coming out, man. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying. And uh, you know, giving us y'all good energy and shit. I'm and, saying like um, you guys are guys that I know I can hang out with outside of a podcast. Oh, I'm not here, and I'm like, we out. Like, uh, thanks for the podcast shout out, but nah, no, man, you know, you know the vibes, bro. I'll give y'all freestyle when there's no microphones, you know, because oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like too valuable. No, it's cool. I respect bro, they could they could steal like, all those like, bars. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't sure, want them to sure. get stolen, so um, yeah, especially if it's not out. Nah, I feel that. I respect that though. I respect it. You know what I'm saying? Check out Noah Butter on all streaming platforms. But anyways, man, we gonna go ahead and sign out. Tie the guy. You got any last words before we check out? Keep it up, man. Appreciate y'all coming through. Love, live, sir. Oh my God. Yeah,